Hello guys. I'm here today to try to fix my cast iron pan. I um I really screwed it up. I um I was cooking some bacon and eggs and um I was finished it up and I flipped the the uh, stove off. So I thought I thought it was off, but it really went to uh, high. And uh, so I took my eggs out of the skillet and made myself a nice uh, bacon and egg uh, sandwich. Then I walked away, went to the bathroom, and then, uh, you know, I don't know, I think I, I went uh, down to my office to um to find my phone and get my phone. But uh, long story short, by the time I got back to the kitchen, the pan was smoking and that electric cooktop just burned the seasoning right out of the center of this pan. It's a cast iron skillet. And... Uh, so what I want to try to do is get the uh, bottom of the skillet back to some kind of a uniform, uh, uh, you know, a uniform consistency uh, down to bare metal, I guess, um, and then see if I can re-season this pan. So this is not something I've ever had to do, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. So stay tuned to find out. Okay, so what I am using here is this, um, this old snap-on grinder. 90 degree air tool and a Rolock disc. Um, it's a polishing disc. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up. I'm filming on my phone, or actually I'm filming on an old iPhone. Um, but it's not a sanding disc, it's a more of a polishing disc. And I hope it's gonna be aggressive enough to um, to take the seasoning off. If it doesn't, I'll find something that will. So I'm gonna just take the bottom of the pan down to one consistent, um, you know, uniformity, make it uniform and, and consistent on the bottom, and then I'm going to try to re-season this thing and see if I can I can restore it back to something usable. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> I don't know how much air I have. I certainly don't want to turn the air on and try to film. It's noisy. Okay, this is what it looks like when you shine up the bottom of a cast iron skillet. Um, I did have to switch over. I went and put a new, a new disc on. The old one uh, wasn't aggressive enough to, to really do much. So I had to use up another one of those, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing up now and um, I'll, uh, I'll wash it real good, throw it on the stove and heat it up a little, dry it, and then I'll, I'll bake it and try to get the seasoning back on with, um, I think I have some flaxseed oil. If not, I'll use um, olive oil. All right, let's go on to the next step. All right, so I'm back on the same burner that um, that destroyed the pan in the first place. Um, I washed and dried the pan, um, got it on low, heating it up a little. It's just to the point where you can't touch it. Uh, it's all dried out, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, drizzle a little uh, flaxseed oil in and coat the whole inside down. The oven is um, is uh, being preheated to uh, 500 degrees. All right, so let's get this show going. Coat number one. Should do it now. Just waiting on the oven. Some people say use a lint-free rag. I just use a paper towel. So number one coat is on, and um, I'll bake it for about an hour at 500 degrees. So this is how it turned out. Um, the first round of seasoning. 
flaxseed oil, thin coat, and then in the oven at uh, 500 degrees for an hour. I left it overnight to cool down. My wife came home, cooked me out of the, she kicked me out of the uh, kitchen. So uh, I'll try to get a couple more coats on this today and we'll see how it turns out. I think it turned out all right. I can still see my um, grinding marks or polishing marks underneath underneath it. So a couple more coats and hopefully it'll be all right. I'm not sure how many. All right, so I've got this on the burner just on low, just to heat it up. And um, we'll go a thin coat of flaxseed oil and Start round number two. Try to give it a good coating, make sure it's even. Just a light coat. Should do it. Okay, the oven is already heated up, 500 degrees. So, hands a little warm. that for an hour at 500 degrees. Round two came out looking like this and uh, <clears throat> it's looking better. Still see some discoloration. It's not gonna cut it. So um, round three coming up and I also got them. Um, I'm not sure why we bought them or who bought them but I've been seasoning these little things. Um, the square one's awesome for making uh, eggs. Put an egg in there and cook it, and it comes out um, fitting a sandwich pretty nicely. So, uh, see if I can get those to a non-stick type of condition. But <clears throat> my main uh, project right now is this uh, pan that I was using and I destroyed. So anyway, enough babbling. Round three of flaxseed oil and, and baking coming up. three finished this is what it looks like and I'm trying to get the glare off of it and uh, I'm gonna have to keep going I'm guessing at least five coats and um, I can actually still see some of the swirl marks but it's starting to look pretty good I have switched to a um, just a clean uh, clean washcloth because um, it seemed like the paper towel was leaving some debris behind. So, um, number four, round number four, we're coming up. The uh, oven is preheating, and uh, probably be the last one I do today. The fourth coating or flaxseed oil coating is finished up. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's not where I want it yet. I think I'll go at least one more. It seems like I'm zoomed in a little too far, but uh, it feels pretty good. It's still a little warm. Um, it's not exactly where I want it to be. 
Uh, but I can still kind of see a few rough spots. And I think I'm going to go at least one more. Um, I don't know if you can do this too many times. If it gets too thick, maybe it starts to flake off. I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, just judging by the way it was before I destroyed it, the way it is now, I think I need another coat, maybe two. So I'll be starting the fifth go around. Alrighty, I'll get back to you when it's done. Five times I have coated this with oil and baked it. It's looking pretty good, honestly. I know there's a glare. I'm trying to find a spot here. But it, it looks good. I'm not entirely sure it's back to as good as it was. So I'm going to do one more. Um, I'm not entirely satisfied with the surface. It's a little rough still in places. I'm going to do one more and then I'm, then I'm going to cook on it. Okay, so everything's done. I ended up putting a couple more layers on. So seven total layers of uh, flaxseed oil on this, baked on. So I think the only thing left to do now is cook on it. Uh, I think I'll set up my tripod and go ahead and cook an egg or a couple eggs see how that works out it's the moment of truth I've been at this so long my light burned out back here so I have to figure that out I'm not sure what's going on with that this is what it looks like I can still see the discoloration in the metal from where I ground everything off of it um, but uh, you know I'm not gonna go any more than seven on this and I'm gonna try it out all right let's do it shell in the egg. Yeah, I never claimed to be a chef, did I? Yeah, what I've done is just put a little bacon grease in the pan to cook these eggs. We'll see how this goes. actually not too bad now this plastic spatula is not um, not thin enough it's sticking a little bit but not not horrible I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the tripod here and then and I'll see if I can get, get a little bit too hot here. so um, yeah I hope my camera work is gonna be alright here I'm doing this with one hand now Nothing is uh, sticking too bad, maybe just a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. I never really claimed to be a chef. Okay, so my eggs stuck a little bit. Uh, that's what it looks like when I pulled them out. But... I think it'll clean up okay. 
I think if I have to continue to cook bacon and stuff in this pan, I'll, I'll be able to get it back to as good as it was. That's not terrible. It's not exactly non-stick though. So, I'll continue to work with this. Um, I believe it's good enough to take camping at least, and that was kind of why I um, wanted to keep this pan. Um, I just thought it'd be more fun to cook over an open fire or, or cook out in the woods with a cast iron pan. In any case, that's how it worked out. Be your own judge. If you're a cast iron person, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what I did wrong. Let me know what I, what I did right. Um, I, I'm not the expert on this. So anyway, thanks for watching.